Uh, welcome back folks okay we were talking about flies that work really well when the fish go deep um, we covered one with the uh, the straggle cap there uh, fishing lures on a di7 or a di8 the other way of course is fish deep buzzers uh, works very well at graph and buells very good lake for it and most others as well and when these fish go down <coughs> excuse me they're still going to have feeding in mind they're still going to have the buzzers in mind uh, and to get the flies down where you need to get them down to often 20 20 foot plus and sometimes with tip lines even deeper than that if you can uh, we tend to use very very heavy buzzers and for a heavy buzzer setup you're going to need a really heavy point fly and this is one of the ones I like to use um, on the lakes very good for me on Graffman Rutland and I know uh, a couple of my teammates love this one as well it's the uh, yellow owl buzzer um, tied on a heavy grub hook and this will get everything bang straight down to the bottom so I'm going to tie this and uh, so again it's a nice quick easy tie it's nothing to it really but a very effective fly you want it's not a sacrificial fly by any means it will catch you plenty of fish it's a great fly it just flutters down through the water this slightly curved hook flutters down through the water the silver cheeks the color of the buzzer etc etc it's all an attractant to the fish so the hook for this one is a heavyweight grub this is a size 8, goes inside the gauge, and I've been using these guys here. These are Sprite hooks, heavyweight grub hooks, and it's about the biggest one I can find that goes inside the gauge. Um, nice heavy wire as well. Again, all adds to the weight. Um, so two threads for this, this fly. Uh, we've got a UTC uh, yellow in 70, and we've also got a uh, black in 140 okay so first thing we're going to do is just going to catch him with a yellow just behind the eye there get it started and trim that off just like so and now with the other one spooled up on the other on the other bobbin i'm just going to take the end of that black there it's just a quicker way of doing this all right and catch that in just catch this in here And work that all the way down the hook. Nice tight turns all the way down, right way down past the bend. Like so, and then we're just going to start building the body. So back up again, touching turns all the way. Fish this on a midge tip or any of the other tip lines. There's a point that's fish three of these if you really need to get it down quickly but they will just string those buzzers out and really drag them down to where you want them uh, great pattern lovely when the sun's out good with clear water it's, uh, yeah, it just does the job so back up again we're really just trying to build a profile here build a body up here and this one I'm going to take it as far down this time just stop it two thirds of the way down back up again and again back down again and not quite all the way back up again like so okay and this is all for the yellow thread now so i'm going to just going to whip that off and finish it off back just up here somewhere behind the eye that's us for the yellow thread you can just cut that off get rid of it job done that's the body done so now we're going to come up and we're going to rib it we're going to rib it with your black thread that we've tied in here so just bringing that up in turns just take your time just slowly open those turns up the further up the hook you get just start to open them up a little bit and bring them up and then into here we're going to form that thorax you can see where this makes it easy just having two bobbins going at once nice and quick like that okay so all we've got to do now is add the cheeks and uh, finish off it's that simple as i say there really isn't a lot to this uh, fly at all so uh, a bit of silver hollow tinsel that's there that just a medium hollow Take a little piece of that like so and we're just going to catch it in one side and catch it in the other side nice and flat against the head so i'll just do my side first and down and then back up again and then turn that over and do the other side as well and then just nice and flat into the hook like so 
so it's nice and flat on both sides here and then we're just going to form the thorax here and again we're not looking for a slim profile here this is a big fly and make it a big fly we've tied it on a big hook we've used plenty of materials here for a reason to get it down okay this is um I mean, it will imitate some of the bigger buzzers that you get, but really and truly, this is an attractor pattern again. Those summer fish can, they need some provoking sometimes, especially in that heat. And if they've gone deep, they've gone deep for a reason. And that's because they can't get the oxygen, you see. So they're mooching. So you give them a big enough food item sometimes, and they'll just, do you know what, I'm going to have that. And they'll just take it. So that's one side, that's the other. Like so, nicely trapped in there. So let me just pop that in a couple of turns. Just draw these two back a couple of turns in front, and then we're going to trim. Trim them as close as we can, like that, and then just finish off just in front of the head there. That's lovely, and we we'll finish. Now, we're only going to get a chance to put one coat of varnish on this, but really, I'd be thinking about putting four or five coats on this, maybe even six, depending on how deep you want to get it. You can use your um, uh, your UV on it, or you can just use a Sally Hansen's. Again, it's, you know, it's, I don't think you can beat this stuff. Um, it doesn't dry as quick as the other stuff, but you know what? It's bomb proof. So you'll see it's just suddenly come to life when we get a bit of this gear on it. Just dulls it down ever so slightly. It starts to take on that yellow starts to disappear a bit. It starts to take more of a an olive colour with the more coats you put onto it. We know that olive buzzers are on the menu in most lakes during the summer months. Just a nice generous coat and let it all sink, sink into this material let it all soak in and we'll let that dry and then i'll give it another coat and then another coat and another coat and you'll end up with four coats five or six coats or whatever you whatever you might want to put on there but you can see the attractor to it it's a nice bright buzzer it's got those lovely silver cheeks and that as a point flight or even three of those on a nice spaced out leader 15 18 foot leader Chuck it out on the tip line and just let it flutter all the way down through the water. That will pick them up in the summer. That will pick them up when they go deep in the summer. Anyway, nice quick video for you again. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, please uh, click like and click subscribe. It all helps. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll pop something else out while this hot weather lasts. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.